Spanish philosopher by the name of Lucia Stenecker once said, Sometimes even to leave itself is an act of courage. Hello, hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mbuisola Villagazi. What we do in this channel, we offer entertainment reporting, we do commentary, and we also review some of your favorite reality shows. Today, we will be, I'll be reporting on the meta, hashtag justice for Bafana Sitole. I'll just give you a background. I'll try to be fast, um, but at the end, the end, and be able though to canvas all the information that you need to know about this meta. Okay, so Bafana, his full name is Bafana Uluta Ndosetole. He passed away on Thursday and according to numerous reports and the report uh, by the Department of Education in Pumalanga, um, he passed away because um, he committed suicide, according to them, allegedly. Now, um, he was a grade 9 learner. Um, some close sources reveal that he was very active in school. He was um, very athletic um, and a very focused and dedicated um, learner at school. Okay. Now, um, he passed away uh, on Thursday, right? And many publications were saying they do not know the cause or something or, or that led him to commit suicide. Those were reports by then. And then there was also, there were now the community and the parents said hashtag justice first, um, justice for Bafana Sitole, because they believed that for him to commit suicide, it was the school's negligence. And I do not know whether they meant maybe the school, there's, they're suspecting foul play, or maybe they are saying that the school should have provided him, um, probably should have provided him a platform for him to speak out about his issues but even before the current hashtag justice for bafana there was a justice um for bafana which um i think parents and the community right um now he was attending a school a school called um grills um high school in bumalang under emalaseni municipality now let us get into the current um allegation so there are allegations that a certain girl in school um accused him of rape and when he, um, she accused him of rape. He decided to end his life because no one actually believed him. And guys, this again is allegation. So there's a, a letter or a note that he apparently left. Um, there's no handwritten note. It's just notes on the phone, which I do not know um, whether this is real or not. Okay. Now, in this letter, he is saying that he is reaching out to his mom that, you know, what, I did not do this. And also, this girl is accusing me of something that I do not know. And more than anything, um, I, she will never get peace, you know, until I get justice. All right. Now, I just want to analyze a bit and then leave to you to be the judge. Which, what do you think really transpired here? First of all, guys, I want to say... Um, anything that is to do with sexual assault, anything that is to do with GBV is very sensitive in a country like ours, whereby um, we have AMA statistics that are growing every day and that are on their high, you know, when it comes to GBV and rape. Also, in a country whereby we have a lot of um, high statistics in terms of wrongful convictions, you know, there are many people who are convicted of crimes they've not committed, right? And also, we live in a country whereby, yes, um, yes, guys, again, I said there's a very sensitive issue, right? There's rape, um, sexual, there's, there's this rape culture in South Africa and also GBV. However, we have become so oblivious. Um, sometimes we even close our ears. Sometimes when someone says they've been raped, we just believe them. Okay, you, you are raped, right? Which is, which I mean, it's a, it's a good thing to believe people, you know. But at the same time, I think at times we even close our ears and and our eyes at times and not allow the, the, the you know the justice system to take its cause. Again, that is also understandable. The justice system has failed a lot of people. That is why it is so hard. That's a very hard situation, especially in our country. So guys, um, what really really transpired here do you believe that probably a certain girl accused him of rape or maybe um he committed suicide based on other reasons do you even believe that this letter um that is circulating is a letter that he wrote it's very important as ask as especially as we are reporting to analyze all the angles right uh, the sad part is that once once someone has passed away they are not able to come back and explain what happened and more than anything one thing about suicide it is irretrievable and there's no other way that a person can come back and and be able to clarify what really happened and now i i was looking at the school page 
so some of the learners were speaking there they were saying that they do know the girl who made uh, who made these allegations that um he raped her so now they do not want to disclose her name because obviously she has to be up uh, she has to be protected what do you think guys and even if maybe um the girl has been found to have done this what do you think should be an appropriate um remedy to the situation or maybe what 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 should be done you know should be should, should be sentenced what should happen should, should she be convicted what should really happen for the family to receive justice i hope the family at the end of the day receives justice i always say that justice without i mean law without justice is like a wound without a cure thank you so much for watching